I'm interested in how the fabric is used and misused um, in Ghana. Yeah, uh, so let's start talking about the uses, how it's been used. First of all, it's used for a lot of um, like occasions, from celebrating all the cycles of life to celebrating um, like marriage ceremonies. You also one from naming ceremony, marriage ceremony, and burial ceremony. Let's just take these three. One, if you are going to celebrate it for um, a burial ceremony, which is for a funeral, um, one, it's going to have different colors based on the, the based on the celebration who is dead. So if someone at age, like a senior died, it's going to be mostly black and white fabric, which is going to have different motifs. And the motifs also have its own layer. So the first layer of fabric, uh, on, the la on the fabric, is the motif. After the motif, which is a symbol, that is on the, the main symbol on the fabric. That is one. It holds the meaning. A symbol might represent, okay, symbol of the supremacy of God or symbol of um, unity within diversity and also creativity, dynamism, all of this. So based on that, if a symbol that is about creativity and dynamism is on the fabric, I might think it's a creative person who is there. And the color of the fabric being black and white will automatically mean um, the one who is dead is a senior. It's the person who has lived a long life instead of versus when you use black or red. When you use black or red means someone very young, so you are showing grief, you are showing like your state of mourning. So the black and white is going to be like a celebration of life instead of a celebration of death. 